Hello guys and welcome to my new absolute beginner video. In this video you will learn how to set up a animation for a character or something else. I hope that it helps. So now let's get started. Now we want animations. If you don't have animations you can go to this website. Link is in the description. You have to make an account and log in. After we logged in we can see this page. We want an idle animation. We search here for an idle animation. Here you can choose one you like. I take this one here. You can navigate the view with your mouse. Now for downloading the animation click on the button and then select FBX and with skin. We need a second animation. We want a running animation. Now we search for a running animation. Choose one you like and then download it like before. Make sure that you select it in place before downloading. Create in your project folder a new folder called animation. Put your downloaded animation in the folder. Here I have a really simple scene. So now we want to import our animation with the character. We go to File, Import and then to FBX. Go to your folder and select the idle animation. Before importing turn on the manual orientation. If we turn the manual orientation off then the character could be in a very wrong position in the 3D view space. Here we have our character. Press once the S key on your keyboard and then move with your mouse to scale the object. Click the left mouse button to apply the scale. We have here two objects. These objects are parts of the body. Select both with left shift and left mouse button and then press Ctrl and J to set it in one object. Under the materials panel we can change our character color. Now we select our armature and open the dope sheet and set it on action editor. Here you can give a name to your animation. Rename it like you want. You can control the editor with the right mouse button. Now we drag a new window out and then change it to the nonlinear animation editor. For the next step select the armature and also select your animation and then press on the push down button. We need to do this because the animation could be stopped playing during the game. That also happened to me. Now it automatically creates a new animation strip. Give it a name. If we want to set our character to the animation, select the armature and open an animation.
If this happens then you have to save your project and then open your project again. Now we import our second animation. Like before we go to file, import and then to FBX. Select your file and then click on manual orientation. Now we delete the these objects that we imported. We only want the animation. If we go to the action editor we can see that a new animation is there. Rename it like you want and then push it down and give the strip a name. We are done with the animations. Now we want to create a controller for the animations. We select the armature and then we go to the object panel. We go down to traits and then we create a new node trait. We change the window to the logic node editor and then we create a new node tree. Don't forget to apply it in the object panel. We want to play an animation when we press the W key. We use A on keyboard node. Set it to started and the key you want to run. We duplicate the node with left shift and D. Set the key like you want. Now we want to play the animation. We search for play action and then connect the red to the other red dot. Here in this section here we have to select an object that's animate the animation. So in this case we select the armature, and here we can select our animation that we want to play if we started press the W key. That means that we use run animation. If you put the number higher then the transition takes longer. Now if you want to move the player with the animations you have to simply add a cube and then scale it up like the player's height.
For the last step select first the armature and then hold left shift and select the cube. Hold control and P and select object.